Hi everybody and welcome to a video about an exciting new product, the Red Winch's Fiddle Block. So this is kind of like a snatch block except it's not actually a snatch block but it does have multiple pulleys in it. In fact it's got three sheaves and they've got bearings on them. Uh, there are two versions, 12 and 24 tonnes, both of which weigh about 4 kilograms each. It only takes synthetic rope and should be used with um, synthetic rope shackles as well. Now if you're in Australia you want to look at them or buy them then you can find them in Red Winches Queensland or Road Runner Off-Road. So this is what it looks like um, when it's actually rigged there. You can see the soft shackle and you can also see the synthetic rope going through the three sheaves. So let's get on now to exactly how it's rigged because it's a little bit more complicated than your average snatch block. Okay, so let's look at a scenario for self-recovery first of all. And that's what it's going to look like, but that's complex, so we'll build it up step by step. So there's our stuck vehicle and there's our anchor point. We're going to assume that the stuck vehicle will need a force of a thousand kilograms to move it. Yes, that should be newtons. I'm just going to run with kilos for this. You need two fiddle blocks. So you place one at either end. Then you connect one fiddle block to your stuck vehicle and you connect the other one to your anchor point. Then you run out your winch cable. You put it around the first fiddle block like so. Back down to the second one and around and you keep on going around until the loop is complete. That is now rigged. If you're thinking you need a fair bit of winch rope for that, yes, that is correct, you probably do. Okay, now we have five uh, lines supporting the load, which means that we've got a five ton mechanical advantage, and that means we only need 200 kilograms of force here to generate 1,000 kilograms worth of uh, moving load. And that means there's 800 kilos on the other side. So five to one, five lines supporting the load, five to one mechanical advantage, and one fifth of the effort load required. But there's the trade-off: for each meter of rope you pull in, you're only going to move 0.2 of a meter. Now I'm also assuming here there's no energy loss to pulley friction. Actually, there would be. Um, these remember these are on bearings. It's probably about six to uh, ten percent per pulley and the lines do have to be parallel for best effect. I will be doing some more very significant testing on um, around this area, so stay tuned to my channel. All right, now let's look at another vehicle recovery. So that's it in Microsoft up there, and uh, we've got the vehicle on the left which is stuck, and the vehicle on the right is gonna be pulling it out. So again, it's gonna take a thousand kilos to move it. Again, we have our two fiddle blocks, and again, we have an anchor point. We connect the one fiddle block to the anchor point and the other fiddle block to the car run it out the winch cable around back to the other fiddle block and once more to complete that is now rigged and ready to go and again we've got five lines supporting the load so we have um, 800 kilograms on the anchor or 200 on and 200 on the vehicle now we could of course simply anchor that second fiddle block back to the vehicle and that would work just as well for mechanical advantage the advantage of um, placing it on a separate anchor is that you don't lose the mechanical advantage but you do actually significantly reduce the force on the vehicle so it's not going to be pulled down a slippery slope for example so five lines supported load, five to one mechanical advantage. Again, one fifth of load required, but um, you only move one fifth of the speed. Now, if you're having trouble visualizing this, here's a handy way to do it. So take those two examples that I've given and basically turn them vertically upwards like so. And then if you can see how many um, lines are actually supporting the weight of the vehicle, that's basically your mechanical advantage. Now, you can also use the fiddle blocks just like a normal snatch block. So here we're just using it exactly like the normal snatch block for a two to one mechanical advantage. So if you don't need a five to one or anything else, then yeah, just use it that way. And there's very various different other ways you can rig them as well. Now you can also use them kind of as a vehicle winch. So example that we're thinking of here was an ATV could potentially generate enough force to pull a four-wheel drive vehicle out and you can do that because you've got the five to one speed uh, uh, five to one mechanical advantage but you've also got a sort of five to one or one-fifth speed reduction as well so even if the 
um, ATV or whatever is pulling it goes off at let's say five kilometers an hour then it's only going to be about one kilometer an hour um, pulling on the vehicle so this is actually an option as well you don't almost don't need a winch for the, with, with these kits now a couple of usage notes um, for it. So there's limited space between the sheaves, which means that you can't put a hook through them. You're going to need to have a uh, line of synthetic rope, either an extension or a winch rope with an eye at the end. Um, they aren't snatch blocks because a snatch block comes apart. This doesn't come apart. It's actually uh, more of a pulley and one called a fiddle block. And again, so synthetic rope only and soft shackles only. Now, who's this for? Well. I think it's really for vehicles around about the four and a half to eight thousand kilogram GVM mark, such as um, your Canters, Isuzu's, and Mans and Unimox, um, because those vehicles may only have winches, which they might not have a twenty-five thousand pound winch, for example, eleven tons. If they do, maybe they need more than that. So I think it's really handy to, for for the heavier vehicles, particularly, to use them. Um, and also, if you have a couple of these, then a vehicle which has got less um, um, pulling capacity, let's say a normal four wheel drive with a 9500 pound winch could potentially pull you out of trouble. I actually think taking two of them might be a bit too expensive and bulky for mid-sized or sort of car sized four wheel drives but for bigger vehicles I think it will be fine. And also I'd definitely take 50 maybe 70 metres of synthetic line. And remember that you can also use two blocks for a 4 to 1 mechanical advantage of a Spanish Burton rig and if you're not sure what that is then I have other videos to explain it. So here's some of my other videos. I explain 9 ways to rig a winch with just one block, 6 ways to rig a winch with two blocks and how snatch blocks really work. I'm going to be doing a lot more testing um, and of different loads and explaining of how winch works and I am going to be doing a field test with a fiddle block so please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more content on four-wheel drives, cars, towing, winching and whatever else I think that's interesting. Thanks for watching.